Science is taking? Well, material and science is the most important area for the country, for the world, huh. other than biological sciences. Because if you see, huh. what we require is they are using up most of the material. We need alternative materials, new materials. Uh -huh. So, for example, use the solar energy. For that, you need materials producing energy alone. Uh -huh. Any area you take, we require a new kind of semiconductor materials, new kind of superconducting materials, like that. So, material science is a very, very important subject for economy, for industry, and for improving the quality of life. There's no question about that. So, well, many things I do are related to that. So, very. So, and uh, what do you think will be the future of the subject? Future, I think, is a fantastic future because uh, there are many things to be done. Human expectations are increasing. Human problems are also increasing. Particularly, like the energy alone is enough. For example, energy and environment. You know, you require 400,000 megawatts of energy for India. Yes. Where will you get it from? Yeah. You require eventually some materials to be used when exploiting either solar energy or something else, new kind of catalysts, all kinds of areas where you have to work. And then exploitation of solar energy. For that, you need new materials. And even now, new types of solar cells are being discovered. So, new kinds of batteries are being made. For example, the existing batteries are the worst possible batteries, but we have to improve on the batteries. Lithium batteries are no good, we have to do better than that. So it is like that. So people are working on various aspects of materials uh, because of that. The way we do science has changed over the years oh, yeah. since your uh, student days. Uh, how do you think it has changed and what are the well, positive things? Science, uh, science has changed uh -huh. and the way we do science also has changed. Yeah, For example, yes. I would publish a paper, send a paper into a major journal, send it. Today, the same paper won't be accepted. The expectation of quality, except in the kind of measurements you make, the kind of theory you make, the quality has, but I have, in fact, has increased so much, demands are very high on us. And, and then, highly competitive. You see, for example, when we were young, say 20 years ago, this, this kind of competition didn't take place. There was no China and Korea at that time. China is creating half the competition. Then anyway, competition is increased. So that is a problem for scientists and increased. What about science itself? Science has become highly interdisciplinary. Chemistry, the old fashioned chemistry is dead and gone. Unfortunately, in India, when you say chemistry, think of old color, fumes, and say, smell, you know, that is not, you come to my lab, you won't find any smell, you find all kinds of instruments. It's a very, chemistry itself, subject has changed. But in India, of course, most places we have not changed, we are still doing old-fashioned stuff, but where people are doing the right things, you'll see science itself has changed. That is where the difficulty is uh, for us to catch up with these changes. Highly interdisciplinary. Chemistry is so interdisciplinary. If you want to do good chemistry, either you have to be very good in biology, physics, computer science. Mm. Very tough. It's, it's, so it's not easy to compete, that's why. Mm. That's why Indians have a tough time because they're highly disciplinary-oriented education, disciplinary-oriented uh, approach. Now chemists go on doing the same synthesis, same molecule, right? boring work they do. And that is why I, 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 people didn't like me when I was young because I used to talk like this. Because mm -hmm. no one, I don't mind, I have done that. That is the kind of science I do uh -huh. and I have succeeded in it right. in the internationally and exactly. more than nationally. Yes. But I think uh, Indians, we should learn. I'm a very proud Indian and I'm, I won't call myself a patriot, it's a very wrong word. I really being very proud of being an Indian, doing everything here. But I think Indians should learn how to do difficult things instead of doing easy things. You do all the easy little things you do. They can't do some major things, big things in yeah. science. Yeah. Sir, over the years there are a lot of positive changes in the science policies. Now we see that in 2013 science policy, there is a lot of talking about technology, innovation. That is a, that is a Manmo Marilu Marilu Yes. That's no. a very bad document. Okay. But now what are, how do you look at it? What should be? Well, I mean, policy? science policy resolution. Yes. Of Nehru yes. cannot be improved. That is the problem. Right. It is so beautifully written. Yes. He says, you must do the best of science and see the benefits of science accrued become the, is available for the benefit of mankind. Mm -hmm. Improve on the sentence. He says, what are you doing? So, what are you doing? So, I think the policies are not doing. Look, I have been chairman of the Science Advisory Council of Prime Minister for 10 years with this Prime Minister, before with Gujarat, with Rajiv Gandhi. So, policies are there, but doing is different. Yes. So, what has happened is we must have policies which are easily also 
see the see the light of the day things happen and then manmohan singh with all his people, people that unfortunately don't have more things happened in the last 10 years than any other time and yes. manmohan singh new icers were created new health research department was created new earth science department was created uh, new nano mission nano technology thing uh, so many things were done there is no doubt about that coming from dbt how do you think biosciences has changed the face oh, of the science really, over biosciences over is, the... is equally competitive now uh-huh. uh, for example there are certain areas of biosciences not only stem cell area but many other area where uh, it is highly instrument oriented Uh, some highly interdisciplinary there also uh, for example there are many areas uh, which are very challenging for example disease biology if you take mm-hmm. you know for example you know we have got uh, 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 a drug resistant bacteria what what is the solution to that mm-hmm. and then all the medicines you have made are useless yes. now so things like that many things in chemistry and biology we have to do and many new areas of biology like synthetic biology mm-hmm. there is nobody working on synthetic biology in india not even one person there are many new areas which are developing in biology also i think i think biology is now becoming more and more what they call integrated by integrative biology mm-hmm. i think rather than old fashioned biology so i think biology is also changing so you say science is Uh, over the <coughs> discipline sciences innovating oh itself. innovating itself and uh, and that's where indians don't keep up with it to break that rotten tight compartment of science and they don't keep up with it you yeah. know me you know just you know they, they say in a old proverb sanskrit proverb just because your grandfather planted a tree you can't hang yourself from it it is they go on doing the same thing we have to get out of the habit and getting stuck to the old fashioned ideas keep changing you have to, but learn how to change and adapt I keep changing my areas of interest a lot, mm-hmm. not because uh, I'm a butterfly changing like that. No, because Adaptation. it becomes necessary to do something worthwhile. Mm-hmm. You have to you have to make some changes. Adapt, adapt, make slight uh, program change on the way. I think we have to learn that art in science. Those who have learned succeed in science today. So there has been quite a boost to science popularization. Uh, what do you think? What direction do you think it is? There has not been. There may be boost. Where is the boost by whom? Okay. By who is boost? Uh, journalists have come. Ah, very very nice. Journalists have done nothing. Okay. I, just, I don't no, think. Sir, then how? Do I you... see journalism. Science hardly comes in any newspaper. Yes. Sir. The front page is all about rape, yeah. murder. Uh, and uh, election results, mm-hmm. foreign de- 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 FDI, interest rates, what salaries and why IMM, IMM graduate got, he got twenty fifty like a hell. Who cares? Why are you putting that in front of the IMM graduating? It. I think I, in another act. I think for education and science, if not, I don't want them to have a special page. Mm. There are many interesting things happening. Mm. They have, I wish they would go with me to Uttarakhand and see all those children. Mm. They will have much to write. Or children's program we run in Bangalore in our centre. So much to write about. So many interesting things. Now, Ron, those children are fantastic, mm-hmm. and I think somebody should write about them. Mm-hmm. And I don't. The government has done very little. Poor. We can't blame government for everything. No, no. Press party more than press. I think you know they, we have to do something for villages, our country. Mm-hmm. Uh, our country's progress depends on those villages, children, and those rural India. We have not done enough. So, what interventions do you think? Uh, intervention is we should create more schools and opportunities. Up Jawhar, we know the Vidyalaya type has institutions for children. Mm-hmm. There are only two fifty schools. Uh, there are five hundred schools. There are more. Uh, these are government. I can't do that. The government, individuals like me, we have to go to see, go to villages, interior India, and talk to them. I do as much as I can. In fact, I do every time myself and my colleagues in Uttarakhand. We will do. As much as recently, I have gone to Assam. Create excitement in science. Something at least. All you need is one out of hundred. Yes. One percent result is not required. Yes. Not even ten percent. Yeah. And we need lot of role models and mentors. Right. Not like that. Some kid gets excited. He becomes a genius. My God, that's it. Sir, so from Bharat Ratna to being voted the mo- by most scientists for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. How, how do you know how that? <laughs> read it in the paper. Uh, yeah, that's true. What so happened? How is, have uh, awards encouraged you over the years? Well, awards just keep come up. When the first you get awards, it's wonderful. After that, you get used to that, yeah. and uh, that's not important. I no longer work for awards. 
Now, I, 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 I said you, the Dan David Prize is, a, is, a equal, is like another prize, a $1 million prize, except it is given by Israeli, Israeli Robert Prize, it is called. Mm -hmm. But you know, when I, I didn't even know I got it. Same with Bharat Rakta, within an air, airport when Manmohan Singh got me in the airport. No, it's all right. But I'm excited by science more than by awards. But it's nice to get awards. As far as voting is concerned, it is like this. Every year, the day before the Kenistri Nobel Prize is announced, the, the famous journal of Kenistri, Angavanta Kemi, group of journals, they do a survey and they take a lot of votes from various chemists. And they announce the day before that. This year, they announced the most uh, deserving chemists to get in the CNR. They announced. Okay. I had the maximum number of votes. The, this year, who got it got one vote compared to yes. my 16. The one is not one vote, the one is equal to 100 or something. Mm -hmm. So, no, points, I had 16 points and 13 points, you had one. I is the highest. So, I don't know who voted it for me, <laughs> and it's nice, like a, coming from, you know, coming from India, and then, you know, you believe or not, she is a journalist, coming from India, you are a secondary citizen. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I, I know, very unfortunate. You may be, however fair you are, very kala at me. You are a black man in the world, black man or woman. Somehow you pay a price for him. You know, you know those guys with the Japanese push their candidates, Hindustan never have a vast account. I don't want that though. I don't want any politician. If anything I get, fine. I don't get Bhagavad Gita. True though. Sir, what is your message to young who are under pressure to earn money, but yeah. at the same time have to earn money. Generally, young then, researchers have to earn money, but again, at the same time, they <coughs> I have to be you, patient. you know, this was a very pro serious problem 10 years ago. Our salaries are not bad today. Yeah. You know, a professor, assistant professor in our institute get 1 lakh rupees a month. He said, Jarut ka Jarut nahi hai. Our salaries, if salaries are koi mishkil nahi hai, salaries are not right today. Only thing is, our dedication and interest should not go. I think the young fellows should have not go on worrying about high promotion and earn some more money. I think he should worry about how to compete with his own, in his own area and the rest of the world. That competitive spirit is lacking. Yes. You see, you must feel, feel that you are in a running race, you are not going to give up. You know, to be in a running race is not easy. But as I said, there is no price for the loser in a running race. Same thing, science. If you do make it your your work, there is no place for you. I mean, it is a very hard work, cruel work, but you have to get used to it. Then you can't say, no, no, I am special. No, no, you can't say. It is a very cruel world we are in. Yeah. It is not so 10, 15 years ago. It has become totally, but you know, you may not believe it. There are some journals with a high impact index of 25, very, very difficult to publish. And they have, I send a paper, six reports on the paper come. And our chair report, my yak report, thoda negative hai to, uska dara nahi, fake is usko. In fact, how can you get six scientists to agree that you... That this is correct. No, no, they actually use a strategy to refuse your paper, huh? So that's sent to another view. You have to suffer that. You can't say, no, I won't publish that. You must publish that, fight the damn thing. I won't go, when I am like that, I am succeeding quite well. I am burning a lot of paper. But I won't publish in nature, no, no, I, don't, I never publish it. Not because uh, in fact nature didn't ask me, why is it you don't send? I wrote editorial, a couple of editorials in nature recently. I said, because you know, you, you know, they have a way of doing it, they have got uh, some second class BSc girls or boys, I don't know. They see the paper and by physical inspection they refuse it. They don't even refer I don't want journals, they don't refer it. And the other hand, you know, what has happened is solar thermal, I talked about using solar heat to produce hydrogen. You know, the National Academy of Science just saw that work in USA, US Network. They have asked me to write a perspective on this very important work. So I just have sent a perspective on this work. Now they have seen that work. Yeah, the Indian, no, no Indian, none of us. So I have survived. Bahar se jo bhilsa hai, Bahar se jo kandim bhilsa hai, is se jinda ho. But yes, India that way is very cool people. It's not an easy country. You know, in fact, I am very fond of music. I don't know that. That is my. I always, every day I have to listen to music. I'm morning, five o'clock or not. I get about four, four thirty. My wife will listen to half an hour, one hour music. So you know, all the musicians say that how difficult it is to come up in India. You know, particularly some young women whose names I won't mention. 
they have to give even their honor and respect they have to lose to come up in some music they were saying. So bad. India is a very cruel country. So you know, education or Vidya Kshetra mein, Vidya Kshetra mein aise hai. Itna, you know, anyone who come up and put there somebody that is unfortunate, I have come out of it now. I have to help as many young people as possible. I try my best. You may not know that, ask others. They must tell you about that. I have tried my best to help as many young people in my life as I can and I do something for them. Because this is a very bad country. Competitive world, if you are competitive, then you are expelled. There is no wrong thing. So, what are you doing? You must be along with the crowds. Because there are too many talents in this country. Not much, not much. There are not that many talents. Those who show extraordinary things, they have to pay a price. Okay, yeah, yeah. They have doubted and they have to say, I think it's wrong. They suspect. But I don't want to give them my country too much, I'm just saying. But in spite of that time, people like me, I've come up, I have no problem. I've done very well internationally, I have no problem. But you have to do international event. Otherwise, in India, you have no chance. In fact, my first award I got was an international award. And of course, Raman made me a member of the Indian Academy. And then I got this Faraday medal in front of Indian when I was 33 years old. That was wonderful. Otherwise, I don't know what would happen. Very nice. You know, I've now been very lucky. I have a member of all the foreign academies. No other academy. Only academy was not a member of the Australian Academy. The Australian Academy. And also gave me an honorary doctorate in Canberra. It was very nice. My wife and I went for that. So I've been very lucky being an Indian citizen. Having been, having born here. And I've expected to come this far. I must say that. God has been with me.